Hello everyone, this is Firdos with a new educational video. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is laws of reflection. Before we understand the two laws of reflection, it is necessary to have knowledge about certain related terms. Some of the terms have been taught in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, you can simply watch that video by clicking on the above given link. So let's start. Students, you know when an incident ray falls on a reflecting surface, it does not pass through it, rather it gets, it returns back uh, or bounces back as reflected ray. This uh, bouncing back or returning back of light is called reflection of light. Uh, suppose on the point of incidence where this uh, incident ray strikes, we draw an imaginary line such that it makes an angle of 90 degree with the reflecting surface as you can see in the figure. This imaginary line is known as normal. Uh, so let's first understand what is the statement of the first law of reflection. The first law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. As in the figure you can see you need not to uh, cram this statement you can simply follow this figure. The incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence since they all are lying at the point of incidence all these as per the law they all these lie in the same plane now what does this mean they all lie in the same plane we can explain with the help of three fingers suppose this is incident ray this is the reflected ray and this is the normal you know uh, when you are uh, seeing this you are seeing basically the side view of all the three rays when i turn it towards the right you can see that they all are lying in the same plane. Students, in the figure you can see that between the incident ray and the normal there is an angle. This angle is called angle of incidence and it is represented by I. On the other side of the normal you can see there is another angle. The angle being formed between the reflected ray and the normal. This angle is called angle of reflection and it is represented by R. Now let's see what the what is the statement of second law of reflection the second law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection that means if the angle of incidence is 30 degree the angle of reflection will be will be also of 30 degree if the angle of incidence is 60 degree the angle of reflection will also be 60 degree this means that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection we can explain this second law of reflection with the help of a ball suppose this is normal and we throw a ball from top of the normal towards the point of incidence on reaching the point of incidence the ball will move up along the normal similarly when we throw light from top of the normal towards its base that is uh, towards the point of incidence it will uh, it will get reflected along the normal in that case, the angle made by the incident ray with the normal will be equal to 0. And the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal will again be 0. This means the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Now, somehow, if I am able to throw a ball along, along this reflecting surface, this ball on hitting the point of incidence will move along the reflecting surface if we consider the angle here uh, angle between the normal and the path taken by the ball that will be 90 degree uh, on this side that is angle of incidence will be 90 degree and the angle of reflection on the other side will be also 90 degree so from these two extreme cases we can uh, conclude that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. So students, today we understood two laws of reflection. The first law states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and the second law states that the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Students, in the next video we will uh, understand another important topic that is mirror and its type. Before leaving, I have a request. If you haven't uh, yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and also hit the bell icon so that when I uh, upload the next video, you can easily get notification of that video. 
uh, see you in the next video till then take care thanks thanks a lot for watching